The cuts to the police budget approved by the Baltimore City Council amount to about 4% of the department's budget, and most of the cuts were made to grant funding that comes from the state and federal governments. Of $22.4 million in cuts, $13.1 million was to grant funding, $9.3 million was to general fund money. An internal document circulated to council members by the police department said cuts to grant funding could jeopardize federal reimbursements for expenses related to the coronavirus pandemic. City Council President Brandon Scott said the council is trying to impose more oversight over grant funding by requiring the department to get approval from the council to spend it. We're not eliminating grant funding. If you look at the budget, it says that this money is budgeted in anticipation of grants. We just want them to be more open and more transparent with their dollars. It will not be a blank check. Other cuts, the document said, could jeopardize federal homeland security money. Funds for the Marine unit were cut and funds for the mountain unit were cut, even as new horse stables are being built in southwest Baltimore. The internal document said if the cuts stand, money to care for the horses will run out July 1st. A couple of caveats here to the cuts that were made last night. City Council has the authority to cut funding, but it cannot redirect funding to other agencies. Only the mayor has that power. And the council can't eliminate a particular service. So if the department wants to keep the mounted unit and wants to keep the marine unit, it can do that. It just has to realign its own funding to pay for it. Reporting live tonight from City Hall, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.